Well, good morning, everyone, and thank you for starting your day out with us. I'm Jenna Stauffer, alongside hey, Mr. Hal. Mm. Good morning, sunshine. Good morning. <laughs> have we had a couple of weeks or what? Uh, we have. It has been busy weeks. You and I have done it all, Jenna. We've we done have. it all. You're taking me around with you, and you're mm. making me exhausted, Tom. Mm. <laughs> and some of us even educational. Wasn't it fascinating meeting with all the kids, former presidents, and uh, we had four or five uh, children of former presidents in the little White House at that forum. And it was just so interesting. And, uh, you know, we had Linda uh, Baines Johnson, the, the daughter of uh, President Johnson, mm -hmm. uh, Margaret Hoover, the granddaughter of Herbert Hoover, mm -hmm. Clifton Truman Daniel, the grandson of President Truman, Truman <laughs> and Susan Ford, the daughter of President Ford. And who am I missing? I think you got them all, Tom. Okay. You hit, well, Nixon. We no, had Nixon. yeah, Don, your pal. <laughs> My pal. You know, uh, Richard Nixon's his nephew had really took a shine to Jenna. <laughs> he couldn't keep her, his hands off of her. And uh, you'll see He's in this week's strong color. <laughs> He's <laughs> just a like his, tricky, his, right? Yeah, just like his uncle, he Tricky Dick. And, uh, his uncle. <laughs> no, but I think it's wonderful that they host this forum at the Truman Little White House every year. Mm -hmm. And then the kids and the grandkids, nephews, whatever mm -hmm. they are, their family ties, they talk about life in the White House. And they, they do, and they actually love getting together because, you know, there's nobody else in the world who knows what it's like to live in the White House besides the families. Right. And so these kids talk about what it was really, really like to be inside that White House. Mm -hmm. And you hear stories that are amazing, like Susan Ford and Linda talked about having to go on dates with a Secret Service mm -hmm. in tow. Mm -hmm. uh, can you imagine? Yeah. I mean, no, you I know. No, I cannot uh, imagine. But and escaping from the Secret Service. Yes, right? yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. But, well, Donald Nixon talked about escaping from the... Anyway, he was always in trouble, apparently. Yeah. And uh, But anyways, Very how much fun was that? Yeah. So it was perfect for President's Day mm -hmm. weekend. Mm -hmm. And there was just so much going on this well, past uh, week. Well, you did the Valentine's Day, right? Yes. Uh, but Wesley Ells Valentine's, mm -hmm. how was that, John? It was good, except we did get a little bit of rain. A little bit. A well, lot, I picked actually. <laughs> people look mighty wet. <laughs> yeah, I should say. <laughs> actually, they had a downpouring. They did make it through a lot of the event without the rain, but... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the rain came pouring and the winds came blowing. Right? And then it got cold. <laughs> yeah, it did. It did. Yes. But it was still a success. And then along with the Curry House Valentine's Day Gala, another big thing taking place was the Vienna Boys Choir. Yes, and they were outstanding. And you know, it's not often you get to hear a choir of that caliber. They all have like the most shrill falsetto voices. Just like on it, you know, most people have heard the Christmas albums, the Vienna Choir Boys Christmas uh, over the years, but uh, they sang, uh, the whole first half was classical, the second half was the folk songs of the world, mm -hmm. and it was magical. It was it magical. Really and was. The boys are like 10 to 14, and they're doing a six-week tour of America. They are allowed one six-week tour a year, and mm -hmm. that's how it works. They divide the group. There's actually a hundred Vienna Choir Boys. They divide them into four groups of 25, mm -hmm. and they each tour for six weeks a year. They're and, incredible. Uh, now, the other thing, I was reading, I got fascinated by the whole thing. They are taught in one of the most opulent castles in Austria. You know, Castor, Austria is known for its just outrageously glittery castles, like fairy tale castles. Mm -hmm. Well, they are actually, their school, their academy, is one of those castles. And uh, it was, uh, they've been, the Vienna Choir Boys has been around since 18-something. But in, uh, during World War II, the castle was damaged. So guess how they made the money to fix that castle up to its splendor it's in today? The they toured America. So that's right how after they World got the War money. II, that's mm -hmm. where they made the money touring America, and that's where the whole touring thing started. Yeah. And but I thought that was fascinating because that you think Austria, maybe they did it all over there. No, they came here to America to raise the money to fix up their school, and they did it. Wow! And they made the money in then some. And well, uh, and these boys are absolutely incredible. I mean, when <laughs> I was ten years old, I was singing <laughs> silly songs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, they're singing <laughs> Latin and all this other stuff, yes. and it was just really amazing. And what? an experience they have being able to tour all over mm -hmm. the places that they're getting to see, the people they're getting to meet. Mm -hmm. And I, you know what I think would be really interesting, Tom, would be to do a reunion like 20 years from now <laughs> and, you know, see what happened to the boys. Well, you know, <laughs> recently, speaking of that, we had one of the Von Trapp family singers in Key West, you know, one of the original Sound of Music group. And uh, anyway, uh, yeah, so, the, so people do grow up. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. 
and she <laughs> she followed after the family's footsteps. Mm -hmm. you know, she's got well, an she's amazing voice. Well, she's a little folksier, but yeah, I, yeah, a little bit. But you know what the most popular thing the uh, Vienna, Vienna Boys Choir sang was the Austrian folk song. So they do mm -hmm. love folk music mm -hmm. and polkas. Mm -hmm. Polkas mm -hmm. are big. And they could dance. There was a little dancing mm -hmm. in the concert that night. Right, well, towards right, the right, end, right, I right, guess right. they did. And um, I. It was hard not to pick a favorite because they're all they're all adorable. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got to take a quick break right yes. now. There is much we still more got to plenty to talk yeah. about. Believe me, we've been busy. <laughs> Jenna and I have been busy, guys. <laughs> oh my God! All right, we're gonna take a quick break right now, but we'll be right back after these messages. So please don't go away.